Excel's pivot table feature is one of its greatest strengths. Uh, it's an ideal tool for analyzing data, and it's kind of hard to describe without a, an example. I will be using Excel 2010 today. If you are using Excel 2013 or Excel 2007, much of what you will see will be almost the same, almost the same. If you are using an older version of Excel 2003, the screen's going to look quite a bit different, but the pivot table concept is certainly the same. In each example that we're going to be seeing today, we start with the idea of some data that needs to be analyzed. Now, you just can't make the flat-out statement, I've got a bunch of data, therefore I'll use one of these magical pivot tables and it'll solve a lot of problems. The data that you work with, the source data for a pivot table, has to have some structure to it. And you may or may not be familiar with the term database. It's not official in Excel. It's loosely used. Some people would call the list that we have here a, a database, others might not, but it's a list of transactions. Uh, we're tracking the work of uh, 12 different employees here, and the list we're looking at is not in any particular order, although it might well be if you were working with it. It's about 900 rows or so, and uh, it, it brings out the idea that when you're looking at data like this, you want to get to the heart of it. Now, you've if you know how to use sorting, that's a great tool, of course, and that organizes the data. And we could sort by any one of these columns here. Uh, we can also uh, use a feature called subtotals, and if we did have it sorted, we could come up with some totals, either by salesperson or product or region, one by one. But the idea of analyzing this quickly and being able to change what we're analyzing is not something you can do with standard Excel features. Now. I'll tell you ahead of time that in addition to these 12 salespersons, let's imagine they work out of a central office somewhere or possibly out of their homes, and they work for a, a major uh, distributor, and they handle major products. There are only five of them listed here, and they sell to different major retailers in five different, four different regions around the country. And all the salespersons and products and customers can be sold in different regions and uh, all those cross paths. 